Oi, Igor. Oi, Ricardo. Oi. Tudo bem? Tudo jóia. Só tô ligando pra dar uma... Eu tô fazendo o um vídeo lá. Sim. É, você consegue descrever o problema em inglês pra mim e falar em... Que o vídeo é em inglês, né? Você consegue é. É, descrever o problema em inglês? Cara, não consigo. Você tá falando falar? Falar em inglês, é. Você consegue, não? Não consigo, cara. Não, não então tudo bem. Nada. Tudo bem, a gente fala em português, então. Então, o problema... É... Quando aconteceu com você é que você não conseguia acelerar, certo? Isso, perdeu Isso. a aceleração. Perdeu a aceleração e ficava a luz do. A, a luz da falta de estabilidade. E a ISP. E, a... e a... a luz da chavinha de manutenção. Certo. E por último acendeu também a luz do... de manutenção, né? Tipo, do motor. C certo. Oh, intermittent issue is fun. All right, guys. So this one is a 2008 Vauxhall Zafira B, uh, 1.9 DTH or DHT, something like that engine. Engine code for that. So, customer phoned me last night. The car basically was in leap mode, or the car wouldn't rev at all, wouldn't accelerate at all. So, um, he limped home to the garage here, left the car in the garage. Um, I spoke to him this morning and he said that you know he had to drive basically with the car in gear with sort of like a engine rev you know it couldn't accelerate at all Pick, picked up the car this morning absolutely fine it did have the engine light on and we do have some faults p double one twenty p double one twenty two uh which is related to the accelerator pedal uh, sensor 1 and 2 and also P0700 which was something to do with the transmission and P17 something else I think it was to do with the transmission again car drives absolutely perfect right now uh, no issues um, I have come across a problem like this before on a 2006, I believe, Vauxhall Astra, the 1.7 diesel. And same issue, uh, couldn't accelerate the car. Uh, also, traction control light was on, which when he talked to me last night, I thought was, uh, I actually thought it was the ABS sensor uh, fault. But, uh, you know, it makes sense, obviously, when the traction control comes on, it cuts the accelerator pedal. So that's what he had, uh, limped back, no problem. But the other Astra, uh, it was uh, sent to another garage, which they changed the uh, accelerator pedal, a couple accelerator pedals, and didn't fix the problem. And then I checked at the time, obviously I saw a TSB for, for the fuse box, obviously it's a common issue to get corrosion and having issues like this, especially with the accelerator pedal. Couldn't find anything. Removed the ECU under the, uh, the fender there, or, or what's it called? Uh, the left wing, front wing. Took the liner off. There's an ECU sits there. And it was one pin that was really corroded and cleaned it. Happy days, no more issues. Um, that one wasn't intermittent. It was all the time, so cleaning everything was Put everything back together, the car was fine, so that was a confirmation. This one, intermittent, happened last night, this morning, it's perfect. I warmed up the car, drove for a while, no issues. So, I uh, put diagnosed the um, TSB here, which also uh, confirms the same situation that I was expecting. We do have some voltage here for the, for the, uh, brake, uh, for the accelerator pedal, sensor 1 and 2. So I'm just gonna check that now, and uh, hopefully, um, if everything is okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try the fuse box, 
disconnect the battery, remove the top of the fuse box, see if there's any corrosion, because diagnosed done actually shows the pins here, which I didn't know which one it was. I, before I just cleaned everything. Um, if we don't find anything there, the plan is check the issue like I did in the Astra. So let's check these voltages here. All right, so here's sensor one and sensor two. So fully released, it should be, sensor one should be between 0 0.5 and one volt, which is spot on. Sensor two should be between zero and 0 0.5, which is perfect. Now we're gonna depress the accelerator pedal. Sensor one should be between 3.6 volts and 4.3, which is spot on. And then uh, sensor two should be between 1.8 and 2.4. So that is spot on again, no issues there. So I'm pretty convinced now we're gonna have the same issues that I had with the, with the Astra. Right, so I'm gonna have to remind myself how I've done this in the past, taking this out. It's been a while. I think the other Astra, I think it was about two and a half years ago, something like that. I think we have to remove the 10 mil ball to the back there. Sure. I'm also gonna disconnect the battery for this. So All right, battery disconnected. I think it's this guy here. So right at the top left corner. not to lose the, the nut. Now, three T30. Like I mentioned, this, this box here. I mean, it's a well-known problem. little sign of corrosion there but not where I was expecting looking at diagnosed on TSB the pins for this I'm gonna have to have a look again ah, it's those guys here they look okay all right so if we look at diagnosed done that's the same same fuse box shows me the pins there and as far as I can see I mean you know, they don't look bad. There's no corrosion. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm gonna do some uh, drag test on them. They don't seem to be spread out or anything like that, but uh, I'm gonna spray some uh, contact cleaner as well. And then I think it's wise to get to the ECU under here, check the ECU as well. Oh, reg regarding the drag test, guys, absolutely perfect. That's the 10 mil nut, it goes there at the top. So I have to release that to remove the box. Like I said, I don't see anything wrong here, but I'm gonna spray some contact cleaner, just in case. I'm gonna go to town on this everywhere, I think. And also, so it goes like that. Hmm. Like I said, there's a little sign of corrosion just there, but it will be inside inside this box and to take this out is almost impossible because we've got these washers here. So to take this apart is a nightmare. Right, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna start taking the ECU out, I think. Let that dry. All right, guys, so you see where this thing lives. Obviously, you can only imagine it's pretty prone to corrosion, you know, grit. I mean, those connectors, that is a nightmare to unplug because there's so much grit on the connector. I generally spray a little bit of a 
like silicone spray to remove them but anyway remove the connectors can't really find anything sort of like bad apart from one pin but I don't know I don't know if it's gonna solve our problem as you can see they're pretty clean let me put the lights there try to put let me sort this out hold on All right, so if you can see there it's pretty clean there's no corrosion apart from there's one pin at the top there then inside this you can see signs of corrosion which is the last or the third from left to right at the top it's a little bit of corrosion on a ECU itself this one super clean you know not issues at all so lovely here lovely and clean I'm trying to show you inside the ECU for a second right, so there's more plug everything's clean you can't see any problem there I mean if I remember correctly the Astra it was one pin like right in the middle one of those two plugs this side looks pretty clean apart from one one pin which is at the top of there which is number 50 if I record the other side you can actually see a little bit better well, that 49 as well looks a little bit corroded so anyway I'm gonna spray again some contact cleaner here put it all together hope for the best Alright, so the battery is back on. I think the inspection light is, is on for this car. And I literally just check the coolant, no coolant. Or I had to put over a litre of coolant in it. And oil is super overfilled. But anyway, we are going to auto scan, scan all the modules. As you can see, it's accelerating at the minute. It's no no faults right, let's wait for this to scan and see what we get All right, so scan complete no faults apart from one module which is going to be a light bulb I think it's a number plate light bulb or something like that so yeah rear left reverse light so it's a reverse light so nothing else so at this point, I mean, yeah, so at this point I feel like I've done everything that I could do. I mean, it's not playing up at the minute. And I know I'm 99.9% .9 sure it will be something related to corrosion on that box. It could be internally, never know. But I did check the accelerator pedal plug as well. No problems at all. So, phone the customer back he can take it and I'll probably wait a couple weeks until I post this video um, and get some feedback from the customer but thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers e depois que eu fiz essa limpeza aí já foi o que uns 4 ou 5 dias agora né isso teve mais algum tá tudo normal ou voltou alguma coisa tá tudo normal não, eu tá tudo normal não aconteceu mais não não Beleza, então. Era só para dar um, um feedback e colocar aqui no vídeo aqui. Tá, não. Tudo bem, sem problema. Falou? Valeu, obrigado. Val Valeu, velho. Um abraço. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau. Aí, ó. Come in. <risos>